In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do a data extraction from the mark table utilizing Process Runner. I'm going to open up Process Runner now. Process Runner is a standalone application. It can be installed on a desktop, on a server, Citrix, NVIDIA, VMware, Hyper-V, and nothing needs to be done on your SAP BAC system as it is a standalone application. So the first thing that I'll need to do is just click on New here. Once I do this, I have the menu of the four technologies available to me in Process Runner, Transaction, BAPI, GUI Scripting, and Data Extraction. Go ahead and click on the Data Extractor technology. Then I just need to put in the table name. So in this case, it'll be the Mark Table. Now you'll notice that this auto map all fields is pre-checked. And so this is going to map all of the fields from the Mark Table to an internal instance of Excel. I'm going to click OK. And now I'm going to be prompted to log into an SAP system across my SAP landscape. You'll notice I can choose from any of these SAP systems in my SAP landscape. I'm going to hit the log on button here. I have a username and password. And I cannot in any way override SAP security. So I would error out if I did not have authorization to run this data extraction. Now I'm going to be taken into what's called our mapper tab. In just a few seconds here. So this is what we call the mapper tab. You'll notice that all of these fields from the mark table, they've already mapped to this internal instance of Excel. And so this Excel file is actually inside of the script. And so any data that is downloaded from SAP will be retained inside of the script in what's called our, in, in what is our internal instance of Excel or iBook. Now I want to filter this based on the plant, so I'm going to click on this data filter builder here. From here I can select from a number of different fields, but I'm just going to choose plant here and the single value, it's going to be 1000, plant 1000. Now you'll notice I do have some other options here. I could do an and, or, and then I could add additional fields that I, that I could filter and I could add as many filtering fields as I want to. Uh, just simply uh, selecting additional ones from the drop down here. I'm just going to go with this single plant though, and I'm going to go over to my home tab. This will show me uh, how many records for extraction. I'm going to leave it at the default setting of a thousand, and I'll just go ahead and run this now. I could make that uh, much higher if I wanted to, as uh, Excel has a million row record limit. I could go as high as a million, but we'll just stick with a thousand for the sake of time here. Again, I'm prompted now to, to log into SAP one last time. So the script has already been created, so I could actually now do a data extraction from an additional SAP system if I wanted to. And you can see right down there that this is initializing. And now we've, we have the current calls are executing here. And this will finish out pretty shortly here. And so now that's finished, let's take a look at our iBook, our internal instance of Excel. And so we have all of this data here, uh, again, filtering at the plant 1000. And so this was uh, all of the pre-selected tables from the, or the pre-selected fields from the mark table. As I've done auto map all, it was all the fields. If I just scroll down here, and take a look and see that there is a thousand records there. So it's very, very simple for me to do, uh, to do an extraction from the mark table utilizing Process Runner. Now, if I wanted to make this data available to others, perhaps that don't have Process Runner, I have this button here, this export iBook, and the iBook is that internal instance of Excel. Once I click on this, I'm then prompted to save it to a location of my choice, and this would be saved as an Excel file. Thank you for watching.